there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today I have a tip on sharpening your pastel pencils. And what I have here is a handheld sharpener. This happens to be a pastel and charcoal sharpener from Derwent. Pastel pencils dull sharpeners really quickly and um, pastel pencils are very fragile. So if you, uh, if you have issues sharpening them with a pencil sharpener, you can always try a knife or you can always try a sandpaper block or you can try a belt sander. I actually have a video sharpening my pencils with my husband's um, bench sander and that worked great too for the really finicky ones. But if you got a, uh, a pretty reliable pencil, this is going to work well with your regular pencil sharpeners and all you need to have is an ashtray. I picked this up at a thrift store uh, or an antiques market you could probably get them at the dollar store, but basically what you want is a dish that's got either ridges around the edges or even the, the larger holes that would hold a cigarette. Um, I don't smoke, but this is a great use for an ashtray. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your pencil either on the uh, one of the higher ridges, the, the flutes on your bowl, or um, on the cigarette holder part, and what you're gonna do is just keep it steady kind of in that little ridge. This way you can turn your pencil without rocking it too much and you can just hold the sharpener steady with your hand. I know some people say you should hold the uh, the pencil still and you should turn the sharpener, but I've never been able to do that without a lot of wobbling. And then you can see we've got our, um, our debris there and here we have a relatively sharp pencil. Now I usually don't put my pencils out to really, really sharp fine points. Um, you know, you certainly can, it just you just gotta be careful. I think at that point when you're getting down to just shaving off the uh, the charcoal itself or the pastel itself, then I just kind of, I will kind of go slowly and just kind of go look and go until I get to that point where I really like it. I mean, I, you could do that even holding it into the, the flutes on the ashtray. So it just kind of steadies your hand, especially if you have like a, a tremor or anything like that, which would cause you to rock your pencil when you're sharpening. All you need is an ashtray and a handheld sharpener. And um, if you can't find these Derwent, sharpeners. You can get like multi-packs of plastic pencil sharpeners. Um, usually get like a dozen or something and they, they just basically have a little razor blade on them. They're not going to last that long. Um, they're disposable. I feel bad about that. So, but if you can't get something like this, which I think costs around six or seven dollars, then that's an option. Uh, probably the best option would be to get something. This is a German blade. This can be removed and replaced. You just got to find the blades. But um, yeah, that's probably the most economical, earth-friendly thing to do, to go that route. But uh, anyway, hopefully that will save your pastel pencils a little bit because it's super frustrating when you break the lead when you're trying to sharpen them and then you end up wasting a bunch of pencil that you bought and paid for. So I want you to use your supplies and get the most use you possibly can out of them because that's the most environmentally friendly thing to do is use what you have and, um, and use it all up. And... <laughs> Honestly, if you go onto Facebook and say, does anybody have an ashtray they don't need anymore? You will probably find people willing to give you their old ashtrays because, you know, a lot of people used to smoke that don't anymore and they have these sitting around in their garages and basements, um, you know, looking for a home. So if you don't have one, you can find them. And this was actually a clear one that I tinted with alcohol ink to make it kind of pretty. So uh, there you go. It will save your pencils and it's probably something you have kicking around your house anyway. Please give me a thumbs up if you like these quick tips. Thanks for watching. Until next time, happy crafting. Bye.